In recent years, black sportsmen and women have been some of the most high-profile figures in the world. But one man's extraordinary story of triumph over adversity was forgotten for almost a century. Sean Fletcher went to Northampton to find out more. This is Sixfield Stadium, home of Northampton Town Football Club, who are affectionately known as the Cobblers. Many great players have pulled on the colours of Northampton, but I've come to find out about one man commemorated here whose talents at inside forward in the 1900s made him a trailblazer. His name was Walter Tull. Born into a devout Christian family, he became one of the very first black professional footballers in England, making over 100 appearances for Northampton. But his achievements on the pitch were only part of a remarkable story. How long have you been looking into Walter Tull? Six. Nairobi Thompson is a Northampton local with a long-standing interest in Walter's story. For those who don't know who he is, sum up his life and his achievements. He was orphaned at nine years old. He was then in a Christian orphanage with one of his brothers, Edward. It was here at the Methodist Children's Home that Walter continued to be brought up in the Christian faith of his family and also where his footballing talents began to shine. His youth he spent playing football to the highest level, becoming proficient at it, playing for Clapton, playing for Tottenham Hotspur. He played, I think, 111 first games for Northampton. And yes, and they were, they were at the top of the league. He was born at a time where he faced policy and legislation that restricted his movement and his capacity to achieve, and yet he still managed to achieve despite that. Terry Angus enjoyed a long career as a professional footballer in the 90s, and like Walter, also played over 100 games for Northampton Town. Well, what did you know about uh, Walter Tull when you played here at Northampton? Well, I didn't. That's, that's the sad, sad thing, you know, and how sad is that, that I didn't. So when I found out, I was like, really? You played football against all the odds? We talk about resilience. Come on. What does he represent to all black players in this country? Without him, I'm not so sure it would have been such an easy transition for me. Walter Tull has paved the way for people to go, I can do that. How much did his Christian faith shape him, do you think? He must have got so much comfort from the church because the environment the church gave him would have been a safe environment. And as black people, we want a safe environment. That's what religion does. He must have felt so safe. When World War I began in 1914, Walter was quick to enlist. At the time, the army's rules stated that only those of pure European heritage could go on to be leaders of men, but that did not stop Walter. His leadership skills were very, very quickly picked up on, and in 1917, he was successfully commissioned as a second lieutenant. So yes, again, defying those stereotypes and doing something really quite incredible. And then he paid the ultimate price. He, he died fighting for his country. He fought the good fight. We can see that he kept the faith. We can see that he put others before himself. He's a wonderful inspiration.